Hello, my name is Sam Sloan. I'm a candidate for president of the United States. I do want to say something about religion. Actually, I am a Muslim. Uh, I'm not a jihadist. I'm not a renegade Muslim or anything like that. I'm just a regular traditional Muslim. Uh, I just want to explain how I became a Muslim. I visited uh, Middle Eastern countries, including especially Iran and Afghanistan, starting in 1976. I learned about the religion, and I, I realized that um, that logically speaking, uh, it, from a purely logical, mathematical, scientific point of view, um, Islam is the best religion, and I'll tell you why. Christianity has a lot of problems. One of the big problems with Christianity is the belief in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now, who is the Father, who is the Son, and who is the Holy Ghost, and why does the Father have a Son in the first place, and who is the Holy Ghost at all? Christianity has never been able to answer this question, and, and a, a lot of people reject the Christian religion simply because of this problem about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And, and if, if Jesus died on the cross, and he was, Jesus was God and he died on the cross, then how is it possible for God to die? Gods don't die, uh, and they don't die on the cross. So, so the whole thing doesn't really make a logical sense. Um, Islam solved this problem. This, the solution that, that of, of this problem is, is simply that that Jesus was not a God, he was a prophet of God. A Adam was a prophet of God, Abraham was a prophet of God, Noah was a prophet of God, Lot was a prophet of God, all these people are prophets of God, Jesus was another prophet of God, and according to Muslim beliefs, Muhammad was the last prophet. Except there are also branches of Islam, especially the Shia branch, and other branches that say no, Muhammad wasn't the last prophet, there was another one after that. So, so this, this is the problem Muslim had, but the whole idea that they, these people are all prophets, but none of them are actually gods, they don't live forever, these are all normal men, they, they, they used the toilet, they did everything that normal people do, uh, they, they ate and breathed and everything like that, like normal people do. So that, that is a logical explanation and, and a logical answer. I, 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 I know the Quran better than almost anybody. I've even published an edition of the Quran. In fact, you've got one right behind you on the pile of books. But I, I don't join with any of these groups. Now, these groups that are blowing themselves up, committing suicide, wearing suicide, those people are not practicing Muslim at all. There, there's nothing in the religion about killing other people or about killing yourself or anything like that. This is not. This is completely the antithesis of the religion. They're, they're, you cannot call these people radical jihadists because they aren't. They are not radical Muslims. They are not Muslims at all. Everybody will tell you. Everybody who knows the religion will tell you that there's nothing in the Quran about wearing a suicide vest and blowing yourself off and blowing a bunch of uh, people off. So, so this this is just a way that they sort of slander the religion. Every every time that there there's a, an attack or an incident, and it turns out the a Muslim was involved, they said it was because of religion. Now, on the other hand, when you have all these crazy people going around blowing up a movie theater, shooting everybody in a the movie theater, or shooting everybody in a classroom, or going into a church shooting the people, the people who do this are almost invariably right-wing Christians. But they never said, oh, the Christians were the ones who killed, came in with a machine gun and killed all these students. No, you never, they never say it was a Christian. They, they don't mention the religion, but you'll check, you'll find out in each case, these people are actually Christians. Uh, or going to Christian churches doing this. So, so they go around and blaming the Muslims for everybody when it just so happens that the Muslim is involved. In the 9-11 bombing, there has never been any proof that any of the 19 9-11 bombers were actually practicing Muslims, that they actually attended the mosque, that they actually had been to Mecca, they actually prayed to high the days. In fact, all the evidence indicates that they are, uh, that they never went to mosque, they, 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 they never followed the religion at all. They just happened to be from um, uh, Arabic countries, so so the whole the whole thing was a basic slander against the, the religion.